What's good, YouTube? In this video, I wanted to break down a little bunch concept, little man coverage concept that I like to utilize against bunch. Really, I like to use this man coverage against pretty much everything. I think it's the, <clears throat> the best man coverage in Madden and gives you the best ability to be able to play solid defense um, from a man-to-man -man basics. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, also, if you guys have <coughs> subscribed to the channel, I do wanna let you know that uh, today we're gonna be talking about the nickel 335 wide. If you've not picked up my nickel 335 wide uh, defensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of the video. Um, you can get that by joining my Patreon. Now, uh, by joining the Patreon, the cool part is you're not just gonna get my just my nickel 335 ebook, but you actually get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. Um, so I'm gonna put a link to that in the description for just $10 a month. The cool part is it also updates every single week with new material and you'll get any new eBooks that we release or new updates as long as you're a member. So if you wanna sign up for the membership, again, link is in the description. So guys, I was um, kind of um, just thinking a little bit uh, defensively and I wanted to do a video that really kind of um, explains two key elements to your defense the first one is a basic coverage that i think is really effective it's going to be pretty effective against most of what people are going to do again it's not going to be effect, not going to be perfect um but it's going to be you know fairly decent against the majority of what people like to do and so um i actually have that in this in this coverage that we're about to go over and then also i wanted to find a defense that was fairly decent at containing the quarterback and kind of keeping the quarterback in the pocket and making them have to actually throw a dot instead of just being able to run around. And so that's kind of where this, um, kind of the foundation for this defensive concept came in. I'm going to kind of walk you through exactly how this is going to work. So what we do, what we've done is we put the cover one robber in our audibles and we're going to audible down from three through five normal. Now, the real key with this is to pay a little bit, uh, just pay close attention here to the um, the concept. So you can do this at a mic blitz zero, but I actually think it is better uh, from the cover one robber because I just find that the coverage plays significantly better. So um, we're in cover one robber here. And please notice a couple things that are important. So notice that your user is obviously gonna probably be in the middle linebacker and he's actually covering a tight end. So we're gonna go ahead and globally blitz our linebackers. We're gonna QB contain, and then we're gonna purple zone both of our defense events okay so that's going to help us stop motion slants it's going to help us stop wheel routes it's going to help us stop a lot of that kind of stuff now we then are going to go ahead and take the safety that is in the deep third and we're going to put him in man-to-man -man coverage on the tight end and it's kind of up to you if you want to put someone in man coverage on the running back or if you don't you don't necessarily have to i would recommend kind of shadowing the running back you really don't have to worry about the slot you got good coverage on the tight end. So you, you want to kind of like, again, focus on the running back. If the running back blocks or if the tight end blocks, your coverage will be just fine. But again, a lot of people like to run verticals like this. And I just want you to watch kind of what happens. What you'll see here is if I try to roll out, you see how I get this instant shed from those safeties. So in that regard, it's really, really good. Now, an escape artist quarterback certainly um, can still challenge this and can still get out of the pocket. But it does kind of elude, um, it does kind of force them to have to at least kind of hesitate a little bit with that concept. Okay. So again, we're going to be in cover one robber. All we're going to do is blitz our linebackers, contain, and then we're going to man up that tight end. Now from here, we can either send five or we can go ahead and drop the DNs into zones. Now, another little zone that we can drop is if we wanted to, we could drop this defensive end into a vertical hook and then drop this guy into a curl flat zone if we wanted to. So let me show you the wheel route and how this is gonna defend it. So you'll see here that the wheel route, if I were to low ball this wheel, it's he see how he's right in the passing way, lane. Obviously late, they can hit it. But early, um, it's really not gonna be able to be hit very well. So that's another reason why I really like this defense is because it forces the opponent to, you know, again, have to kind of beat you with things that they're not used to having to beat you with. For example, let me show you another route combination out of bunch. 
Um, let's take a look at this in route. Well, I've got the purple zone to guard that. I've also got that coverage right there. That's a real tight throw. Um, that's probably the most open thing on this verticals concept. I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of run verticals as is. And we're going to put the running back on a out route, which is another very common setup, especially if you're someone that wants to run a lot of man coverage. And this is why I really think the purple zones are so critical when defending you know the gun bunch and so what you'll see here this is verticals and you see here that that purple zone is going to make that tackle really well and then also another thing you might notice is we get really good sheds and the reason why is because we're um we're kind of isolating the center if they have post-ups it's certainly better for them but you know again if you have a good defensive tackle nose tackle um i think this is a really good defense now the other thing i wanted to quickly point out is Chris Godwin is got slotomatic, and you're gonna see here that the cover one robber just absolutely bags this crosser. It plays it significantly better than Mike Blitz Zero, and I'll show you that real quick. And part of the reason I'm gonna do the exact same adjustment, but part of the reason is because of the three rack that we have in the middle of the field. So what you're gonna see here, this is this one, and you see that this is a little bit more easily thrown um, to that slotomatic. Another thing you're noticing is that slotomatic. Um, is not is not really lighting up. Okay, that's another thing that I think that the cover one robber brings to the table. Um, and again, this is just something very simple. It, it, the idea here is that we're just trying to keep the quarterback in the box, in the pocket. Now let me show you another concept: the Z spot and go. And we're just going to run a backside dig. And this is where that three wreck is really helpful. You're going to be able to handle that backside dig. You see this corner out; it does light up. But it really doesn't beat it. As you can see right there, if you have deep route KO, or if you have a little bit, maybe even an acrobat, you probably get an interception on that concept. So a lot of what Bunch is about, corners, crossers to the point man, this in particular coverage does a really good job at kind of hanging with that. And again, you've protected your user because you have that three wreck in the middle of the field. So now I'm gonna go to a, another popular concept and that is the bunch trail. So the bunch trail looks something like, something like this, if you will. A lot of times they're gonna block their, um, they're gonna block their, their, um, their tight end. And what you'll see is this is gonna isolate this guy over the top. Well, notice that nothing is open. And as you can see right there, even with a deep out elite going against a no name Jalen Mills corner, we're able to hang um you know pretty decently with this and so that's really the value um of this is we're going to keep the quarterback contained we're going to force them to have to throw from the pocket ideally um and then we're also going to be able to again have a really good defense in terms of the ability to defend the most important receiver on the field which is that number two um that point man in the bunch or that slot chris godwin if we can defend him we can pretty much defend anything they're going to do. Um, another one of my favorite adjustments is to take this safety on the right side. This is, I don't have any zone drop set, but I'm just going to put that safety in a quarter. And the reason I like to do that, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. You're going to see that um, what it's essentially going to do is it's going to man him up onto the number three receiver. So when we run the play verticals, you'll see that he's going to be kind of matching this guy. And he plays this wheel route significantly better than if he was in man coverage. He doesn't dumb out and the route really isn't there for the opponent. Now you might say, well, you know, that's a great suggestion, but aren't they just gonna kill you to the flat? Actually, I mean, kinda. I mean, they're not gonna like kill you, um, I don't think. And the reason why is because you have these two purple zones and your pass committing. So let's say they go to a play like Flood. Now I'm gonna put that inside quarter um, to that bunch, side, that bunch side safety. You'll see that this purple zone gets out here and yeah, I mean, they can kind of throw that and get about 10 yards. But I will say one of the more popular things that people like to do in bunch is they love to uh, block. They love to block their tight end. So I want to show you kind of how this coverage works um, in a situation where they're going to block their tight end. I'm going to go to kind of one of the more popular setups. And so what that basically is, is, you know, basically we're going to verticals, block my tight end. And then I'm either going to run my running back on this route or I'm going to run my running back on this route. That's basically a very common setup out of a gun bunch, okay? So watch what that quarter does whenever they do that. You're going to see that now he becomes kind of a robber over the middle of the field with that three wreck. And you see how the middle of the field is really closed off underneath. So it allows you as a user to be able to help 
on deep crossers and deep post routes even more than it already does. Um, if you were to leave, let's say we were to, um, you know, block our tight end, and let's just say that they were to, um, or we were to, we were to not have the inside quarter. So we were to have him in man coverage on the tight end, but we don't have an inside quarter. Okay. I want to show you kind of what happens. What you'll see is now you see that he kind of goes and really doesn't do much. I mean, he like double teams the number three receiver, which is not very helpful in this defense. And as you can see, it's much, much more valuable for him to be in that inside quarter position so that he can kind of rob some stuff. So if you feel like they're blocking their tight end a lot or you have a reason to believe that the tight end's not on a flat or you're not too worried about the flat, consider putting that inside quarter out there. But this is a really, really, really good defense. Again, like I said, one of the things that is very popular um, is, is the bunch trail. So I wanted to revisit that for just a second. So we're going to block our tight end, put our corner route out there so that we have good man beating or good pass pro. We're going to try to hit this. So this is with that safety in the inside quarter. Watch what he does. You're going to see he's going to rob. See this right here? And he's helping us out over the middle. And you see how good that defense is. Really locked down. And this is really quickly becoming... My favorite defense in particular against the Gun Bunch. I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I hope that it was helpful. And if you want to learn my full defensive scheme or just get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can join the Patreon membership today for just $10 a month. And it literally gets you access to everything. All of all 20 of our offensive and defensive guides, all the updates to those guides, and any new ebooks or new updates that we release while your membership is active. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.